So, about a couple of months ago, I made a video that was unfortunately deleted about certain something of a topic that I like to discuss. And of course, a explanation video. Of course, some of you pretty much already know why that that video got deleted. But I, well, wasn't for copyright issues. But the reason why I still wanted to talk about this is I still feel like it still need to be discussed. And since there's not really an English version to explain this video, I pretty much wanted to do this because, you know, it's just more passionate to me. As you guys probably know, I'm not now, a, I'm not really now a big fan of ARGs anymore due to recent incidents. That makes me upset. However, despite that, there are still some few good stories that I consider very good. In fact, back in the days, there was very much very well some of the best dark stories ever, like ones that were made by professionals, like This House Has People In It, and Don't Hug My Scared, to some amateur ones, such like Cat Ghosts, and God, I'm blanking on the one I was thinking of. But anyways, there are very much few in between. However, Today's topic is actually pretty interesting as this thing probably predates all that. And that's of course the Flash known as Nibisami Steps. Nibisami Steps is technically one of my favorite videos of, of all time on YouTube. If you know considering how much. And it's art style is pretty good. So. So today, I decided to go ahead and explain it because pretty much is very interesting video to say the least. Before we do get into it, let's explain who created it. It was created by Tai Tai Studios and pretty much they're mainly known for a lot of good animation. In fact, here is very interesting animation showing them all off. Note, I'll get into this more later, but it is pretty much a very interesting animation. Anyways, they created, started all the way back to 2003 with their animations, and it's pretty much a very good Flash series. You can still look them up online, and you can still look at the Flashes, however, since then, their last flash seems to be be the the ARG one, and of course this last one here. Now it's unknown exactly whatever actually truly happened to them, but I'm planning on doing a whatever happened to episode soon on this series. Anyways, as you can see, they're mostly known for being cutesy and art style similar to anime. And obviously, believe it or not, this jokingly makes sense because obviously they made from, they're from Japan. Now, usually, as you could tell, their stuff ain't really that bad, especially when considered they're more goofier. They even did a Batman parody that let's just say it's the most dang thing. I'm happy that it was put on YouTube for, because it's just plain hilarious even though I don't understand the heck of it.
So yeah, you can tell that that was pretty much bizarre. Anyways, though, while they're pretty much known for, you know, stuff, Naosami's Step is definitely a very interesting video, to say the least. Unlike most of their others, it is definitely somewhat horrifying, especially at the end. Which, let's just say, is not pretty cutesy or definitely not beautiful. Yeah, that's actually terrifying. So what the heck is going on? Well, first up and foremost, if you see it in YouTube versions, that's not actually truly part of the Flash. That's just a, another file you download from the Flash and blah blah blah. That's a long story short. But anyway, still, it doesn't make zero sense. Well, that's because it really actually doesn't take a genius... To figure it out if you actually look closely and understand the metric is that's been going on and it's actually pretty dark to say the least let me show you the first thing we need to note is who this girl is and honestly her name is now Asumi or Anna or I don't know if that's like her last name but you all know anyways during this time frame we can see her with this with these animals and then we notice this odd thing the information states, if I'm remembering my date right, J J July 20th, I think. Don't hold it to me, but it is a month and a date and a time. That time is important because during this bizarre, creepy scene here, if I can pause it real quick, sorry. This is what you get for being... Without equipment, folks. You see, if you look closely and actually analyze the footage, that clock is exactly the same time. Why is this actually important? Well, the answer is actually simple once you realize what's going on. Actually, she is now considered dead, and what she's in is pretty much a middle between the void of both heaven and H and hell. Or Yumi, if it's called in Japan. And the person who is taking her, this cat with a boat with a tie and, you know, looks like a conductor, is actually deaf. And we know this because during the part where he's yelling at the critters, we can see a scythe and fire. Which definitely scares them off. Now, of course, it's also a goofball as sex as well. But it does make sense also with the train being a fish. A bone fish. And obviously seen here, if I'm correcting from my original source, these signs are either heaven or H-E-L-L. -L. Well, hell. And it's possible that she was actually in heaven before being translated to hell. And we know she's going into hell, or of course purgatory, as of course we see this. Now, obviously there could be other explanations for this area at first glance, being that it could be a void, or Yumi, or whatever. But, yeah, she's pretty much dead, is that the question. And her being in hell is not actually far off f from it. Of course, we also don't know a little too much of her backstory, but as quickly seen here, as soon as we see it, we see her fighting with what appears to be, might be her boyfriend or anything, which confirms she of several things. Now, what's not confirmed is a fact of if she killed herself or not, because suicide does count as a sin, and, you know, all that. Or she could have done something reckoning. What we do know is the crowbar could be something more sinister, and that's not far from it. Now, before we do get into that, I want to also confirm how serious the death is, because that area does not, the area I showed you with the scythe door, isn't 
the only time that appears. Believe it or not, it appears in this cutesy game, which, unfortunately, I don't know what it's called. Here's the title of it. It's a Flash game, and it's made by the same developer, obviously, and as you saw. But I have zero idea what this girl says or what he is. Here's what here's what it looks like, and you know all that. Yeah. That cutesy, horrifying music does not sound like anything from Purgatory. I don't know what it sounds like. But yeah, that's pretty much just shows it. And again, I have zero idea what that game says. I'll send, obviously, multiple links down in the description below. And if you want to check it out, I'll send that video as well. But a pr pretty much, since I don't speak Japanese, I have no idea what this game even is, jokely. It is some sort of questionable game. You know, when you get questions and you have to answer it and you gotta choose quite correctly but who knows and it gets even weirder because in the next scene she goes in the galaxy but point being this does show some very interesting things as confirming that it is some sort of purgatory and confirming now Sumi is dead and there is one more thing that proves it but also proves something else interesting if you recall correctly, while I was showing this off, you may have noticed the fight between her and Free Angels with machine guns. Again, I have actually zero idea why, but you know, this is just Japanese stuff, and we all know one of their best per per perks is the fact that they're awesome with weird stuff. I love them for it. Anyways, as we soon see here real quick, we see the Angels firing machine guns. Again, I have zero idea, and of course... We see Nasumi right here, chasing him up with the crowbar she is holding. Again, I have 0 to 100 idea on what's going on with that fight, but it does confirm what Major is saying. She might not be very much a good girl. Now, here's what's even more interesting, and I don't consider this counting as canon, but during what seems to be a promotion, there's a promotion for this stuff that was, you know, Flash, and, you know, it just shows stuff you can buy from their store, which I bet $500 that is now closed. But what is important is we can see the obvious character, Natsumi, which I'm also considering as she might be, due to how popular her animation was, she must be extremely popular she became the mascot of this entire series for, you know, Tata Studios, which makes sense. The only thing is, I don't know if it's actually canon, but, you know, it just shows more depth of how, you know, her, you know, how it looks. And it is, again, Flash. But, long story short, and pretty much the explanation on everything is pretty much this. Long story short, Natsumi end up dead. Of course, she must have done something bad, or she killed herself but though she also was around with a boy who broke her heart, which may have led to whatever. I don't know, maybe a killing, or she does commit a suicide. Or there's even theories that she did do a murder and was planning to leave, but someone else pushed her off. But who knows? Again, we have zero idea on how all that works. What is clear, however, she must have done enough sins to go to H-E-L-L, and the Grim Reaper, which was the cat... Who's dressed up like a, like a um, conductor, was taking her to hell, and obviously the whole gimmick happens, and you know that's all that. So pretty much now, the long story short, she is a demon, and as for the crowbar, we do not know. All we do know is you know that happened. Now it is worth note that the feline that took her to HELO may also be Saint Peter. But, at this point, we do not know. What we do know is, yeah, pretty much is a very dark flash once you get down to the nitty gritty. But, yeah. I, once again, I just wanted to s explain that to you all because it is a good flash. And I highly recommend you all 
watch it yourself. It's pretty good. It might be a little childish as well, but it is still pretty good. I'll send a link also to a channel that has most of their flashes. And I'll send another link down below of one flash they don't have it on their channel. I'll send a link to the game thing I told you about so you guys can puzzle that out. But long story short, once again, I'm making this video just to explain. And I felt kind of bad that I had to delete my other channel which had this explanation on there. But I feel like this is probably a much more better explanation video. And I just want to explain it because like I said in another video, apparently there's not even an English version explaining this thing because a lot of people may have mislooked it. And like I said, I'm going to do a whatever happened to video soon on this to explain why it was missing and why have Flash been going down the drain a little bit. But of course, if you guys want to check it out more about it, I highly recommend it. Again, it's a great series. I hope Tai Tai Studios is still alive. But if they are, I want to thank them because their animation is awesome. And they hopefully can continue it. But for now, this has been Flox Cat, and I'm snapping out of here. Bye.